Welcome to Abbey Road Drums. In this video, we will show you the core features of a series of instruments created by Native Instruments and Abbey Road Studios in London. Each is consisting of two meticulously sampled vintage kits, offering some of the typical mic and mixing options of these eras. So let's see how they work. Firstly, the drums page is where you set the parameters for each individual sound in the drum kit view. This page offers MIDI learn and handy mapping presets for instant compatibility with common third-party products such as V-Drums, Easy Player or BFD. Turn the knobs to adjust the balance between direct mics, the tuning of the drum or the decay of each of the articulations. As you can see, the drums page also covers advanced features such as the overhead knob which allows you to control the presence of each drum in the overhead mic channel. Let's take a look at the mixer page which really puts you in the seat of the control room of Abbey Road's Studio 2. Take a listen to this legendary room. Each drum kit has been recorded using a vintage Abbey Road signal path to give you a rich palette of authentic sounds. For example, for a classic 70s sound, use the overhead one track which we recorded using the Glyn Johns method, plus the direct kick and the snare mics. In addition, you have standard features of a mixing desk such as mute and solo. You might have noticed that even though we'd soloed the snare track, you can still hear the other drums, which is a result of the drums bleeding into the snare mic. Luckily, there's a control for this on the options page. Finally, I'd like to show you the randomize function. It can give your drum loops a subtle human touch through random variations of different parameters. The exclude direct mic option limits randomization to the overhead and rim sound only. Try it out if you want to make the effect less obvious while keeping it strong. <laughs> 